Welcome to DMP Training Center. I'm Adam, and today we're going to talk about the 734B. The 734B is an access control module that's compatible with our XR series panels, and it allows you to bring bin table management into access control on your DMP system. The 734B allows you to use existing bank cards for access into vestibules and lobbies for ATM use. The 734B works using the ABA Track 2 data from the bank card, and you program the BIN code from the bank card into the panel or alternatively into the 734B itself for access control management. The 734B is compatible with any MagStripe reader that uses ABA Track 2 data. All the 734 is doing here is providing the interface between that reader and the panel, so you're free to use any ABA Track 2 MagStripe reader that's readily available. This allows you to give your financial customers an option for access into vestibules and to lobbies for ATM use by restricting access just to your customers. So when you're working with the 734B, you don't have to program user codes for every single customer of the bank. You can program in a single bank identification number into the panel and use that as your basis for access control. So there are a couple of ways to configure the 734B to work with the panel, so let's take a look at those now. The first one that we're going to look at involves programming the bin codes directly into the panel and having the 734B send those codes to the panel for processing. What we already have here is a keypad connected into the programming header of the 734. For the general access control programming, it's going to be exactly what you're already familiar with when it comes to programming any other 734 module. What is different is the bin codes and where those are stored and how those are processed by the panel. So here we have our version and the, the model number of the 734B. And as I command through this, you're going to see the serial number and then some other settings that you should already be familiar with when it comes to setting up access control. So we have our REX setting, our onboard speaker, but then we have our bin code length. And this is something that is specific to the 734B. The default bin code length out of the box is gonna be six, but this can be adjusted to match whatever your customer's needs are. Uh, so we can have anything in here from one to eight for a code length for our bin code. Right now we're set to six. So we're gonna leave this at six. Our next setting here is local processing. For this particular setup, the bin codes are actually going to be processed at the panel. So we're gonna leave local processing set to no. We can continue to command through here till we see remove keypad. Once you're done with this, you can remove the keypad from the 734B. And then to finish things up, you're going to go to your panel and program the bin codes into the panel as users of the system. Once that's done, whenever someone swipes their card at the mag stripe reader, the bin code will be sent to the panel for processing and then access will either be granted or denied based on that bin code. So now that we've looked at that, an alternative method would be to program the bin codes into the 734B. Uh, whenever you're using this option, you don't have to program the bin codes into the panel itself, so you free up a little bit of that user code space if, if that's a concern, and it allows the 734B to process the bin codes directly while only sending the serial number from the 734B to the panel. So let's take a look at how we would set that up. So here we have our keypad connected to the 734B. And one thing that we wanna pay close attention to when we're going with this second option is the serial number of the device. Whenever we're setting up the 734B to process the bin codes locally, any access granted event will send the serial number of the 734B to the panel as a user. Whenever you're working with the local processing of bin codes, this will be what you program into the panel as a user, and this is the user that will be granted access whenever a card is read at the 734B. So after the serial number, the next thing that we wanna pay attention to, uh, just like our first option is our bin code length, but after that, we wanna make sure that we set local processing to yes. So we wanna make sure that local processing is enabled. Now that we have this turned on, our next option is going to be our bin codes. The 734B can store up to 64 bin codes, and we just enter these here with our keypad connected to the 734B. So here at bin code one, we just hit a top row key to allow us to enter something and we begin entering our bin codes. Now I'm at bin code two. Again, I could put in something in here. And once I'm done entering bin codes, I can just hit command and command again. Once I have all the bin codes programmed into the panel, I do wanna take the serial number that we saw earlier 
and program that into the panel as a user. So now that this has all been configured, anytime someone swipes their card at the MagStripe reader, the 734B will process the bin code locally. And in the case that access is going to be granted, the serial number from the 734B will be sent as a user code to the panel. So now we've looked at a couple of ways to get the 734B configured with your XR series panel. Now let's take a few moments to talk about what this means for you and your customers. Hello, I'm John Adams. Today, we're gonna to continue talking about the 734 bin code access control module. This product is a great addition to our access control line of products for the XR series panels. It provides support for the bin codes that are located on the customer's bank cards. So this gives banks the ability to limit or grant access to their customers at ATM vestibules, perhaps it's their lobby or any of their locations by just swiping their bank card. In addition to giving access to their customers by allowing them to swipe their card, they're also able to understand how many of their competitors' customers might be using that ATM as well, which helps guide them in their marketing decisions. One of the nice things about the 734B is that if you're familiar with our access control modules, the 734, 734N, etc., then you're already familiar with installing the product. It installs just like all of our other access control modules. But one of the nice things about adding bin code support is now we've created an environment where your customers already have the credential in their hand. No need to grant them any new credentials. They simply use the bank card that they're already used to using at the ATM itself. With the addition of the 734B, banks can take advantage of the feature sets that come with an integrated intrusion and access control panel, which allows them to tailor their access control needs. This is an exciting product that we're very happy to add to our stable of products that are geared towards financial institutions.